Hi guys and girls, uh, John Shawcross here. Um, I just wanted to record a quick video for you uh, for the JV blog as a very quick run through and demo of Compliance Bar. Obviously we've got full training uh, in the members area but this is just for you JV guys just to give you a sort of um, rundown of the product and Compliance Bar and exactly what it does so that you can obviously uh, use the information when promoting it to your list and to your subscribers. Now, the first thing you do is obviously just install it. It's a simple install. Um, just upload it like you would with any plugin. And you will then be presented with a setting screen uh, in the back end of your um, WordPress dashboard. And the first page that you'll arrive on when you go to Compliance Bar is the user profile. And as you can see here, um, there are a number of default um, uh, categories which we ask people to enter their information into they're not all compulsory the ones with uh, stars next to them are compulsory fields and the reason for this is that the short codes the dynamic short codes over on the that you can see over here on the right hand side um, they populate into the templates so that when um, a template is uh, displayed on a page it will automatically input the information that you that, that's provided in the in these boxes so they're dynamically inserted to make sure that the information in the templates is adjusted to a you know any, a, a particular business a particular company name and person phone number address details etc etc so that's just the user profile. Uh, you can't do anything with Compliance Bar until the bare minimum of the compulsory fields has been completed. But once that's been done, you can then access the other areas of uh, Compliance Bar. Now, the first area, obviously, is the Compliance Pages. Um, we have provided 23 uh, I believe 22 sorry uh, templates that um, are have been legally approved as being acceptable for uh, online businesses um, these pages you can choose to automatically uh, create them just by simply checking the box as you can see here and clicking on save and what will then happen is it will automatically create these pages with these page titles in the pages section of your WordPress installation. At the same time you can also change the icons and we have one of the OTOs that we are providing um, will be uh, a selection of different icons that people can use so that they will automatically be uh, so, so that any you know it will be able to uh, fit in with any theme or any design of any website some color ones some black and white ones like these etc etc so you will be able to just upload the icons simply click on upload go to the new one drag it in as you would do with an image and insert in, in into the actual plugin also on this page you can should you want to um, you can actually amend the template itself so that you can make it more specific to your particular business so you just simply click on the edit and it will take you through to the actual page where you can amend the template and that's something that you know we maybe recommend that people do because whilst these templates are um, are have been you know have been legally uh, approved at the same time they are very generic and it may be dependent on a person's specific business that they need to um, highlight certain areas uh, in more detail and therefore um, will need to adjust the templates now at the same time compliance bar will um, determine if you've already created independently of the plugin some of these pages compliance part bar will determine whether there are similar pages already existing on the site there aren't in this case because it's a fresh install uh, but if you've already got an existing site that you've maybe already created some of these compliance pages for compliance bar will uh, the, this color will change from green to blue to highlight that there is a similar page um, that has that already exists on the site and you can choose to override that and bring it into compliance bar to use um, with the plugins should you wish so the next area to look at is the actual compliance bar settings itself and here you can actually create your compliance bar 
and obviously you just give it a name and then determine where you want uh, the compliance bar to show whether you want it on the left hand or the right hand side of the page at the top of the page in the footer or at the end of the content we've also given the option to show compliance links in case people don't want to um, show the icons they just want to show links instead so that can either be switched on or switched off and you can then choose the background color uh, for the compliance bar itself. You'll see that in a second when I show you an example of the compliance bar working. Um, and in this case, obviously, I've set it to white. Now, you can, if you want to, uh, upload a background image, which basically uh, would allow you all sorts of customization. You could even, if you wanted to, um, try and get it like the Apple with a sort of metal uh, bar across the bottom. You know, the, the, it's really sort of endless how you can sort of style your compliance bar. You can select the image size of the icons as well, uh, small or large. Small icons are 50 by 50 and larger 80 by 80. So again, it all goes with the aesthetics of your site and how you want the compliance bar uh, to look on your page um, once you're actually displaying it to visitors. The next section down, you can um, select the pages um, for uh, compliance bar that you want to show as icons. So obviously, you, in this case, um, they've all been created, so all the, all the pages would show up in here. But if you've only created four or five pages, just those four or five pages would show up here. And you can just simply select the ones that you want um, to show on compliance bar. We've also included a show on a display on homepage setting, and the reason we've done this is that obviously some premium WordPress themes, Genesis, Thesis, Woo, etc., they've got built in templates for the homepage, and you can't um, necessarily set, set a static page, or you can't necessarily have those pages to show up um, in the pages section of WordPress. So uh, for people using those types of uh, themes, um, you would then select show it on the home page and the next settings are basically the pages that you want to show the site that the compliance bar settings on now the beauty of compliance bar is that you can have an unlimited number of, com of compliance bars um, which means that if you've got a site that covers a multitude of um, different sort of areas for example maybe you know some part of it's related to the health and uh, or the medical niche and other parts not you may want to show certain uh, compliance pages on certain pages and not on others so in that case you could just choose, you could just create two compliance bars and show it on the appropriate pages one of the great things about compliance bar is we have um, made it mobile friendly so um, you have the choice to show it on mobile and tablets and if you do that, um, obviously you will not be able to show as many icons um, because obviously um, mobile screens and uh, smartphones are, screens are significantly smaller. So what you will find is that if you select all of these, you'll get a pop-up warning saying you've selected more than five and it won't look particularly good on your site. So maybe unselect a few. So great um, uh, ability there to uh, display compliance bar on mobile devices. Then finally at the bottom you have the option to um, uh, display the offset settings and effectively what this means is you can you've got the functionality to be able to position the bar anywhere on your page so if you want it if you if you've selected the um, to display the bar on the left hand side for example and um, you then maybe want to when when it's set at sort of 50 it will be in the middle um, but you may want it sort of slightly over to the left for some reason or slightly over to the right or, or whatever it may be and by using the offset um, buttons you've got the option to do that so let's quickly have a look at a compliance bar that I've already created um, just to show you and that's here and you can see at the bottom this is the compliance bar now the blue background that you can see here 
is actually an uploaded image it's just an uploaded blue image I could have selected the blue background as well but it is actually an uploaded image and here are the icons and the cool thing is that obviously you can see and we've tried to go with the Apple theme where the Apple dock where as you highlight over them it scrolls and it hovers and zooms um, making it obvious as to which um, compliance icon you're highlighted and which one you're going to click on this one here is actually an uploaded image which is why it looks a little bit different from the others it's just this just to sort of show you how uh, uh, an uploaded icon uh, differs from from the one from the standard ones so that's basically how uh, compliance bar would display um, and um, yeah those are the, those are the settings on the compliance bar let's quickly go back you can then go to the manage bar and again this is where if you want to change things you can uh, click on edit and just change any of the settings accordingly so if you wanted to change change it from left to from the footer to the to the top you could do that um, same pages you want to display it on mobile but etc etc save it and if we now go back to this page and reload it you'll see that the compliance bar has moved from the bottom to the top so full functionality of where people can put the compliance bar and exactly position it exactly how they want the next thing about compliance bar um, in this demo in this little walk run through is the pop-ups now pop-ups are great because we have created them essentially to um, for pet for sites that may want to restrict content based on age or based on whatever criteria it is that you want to um, set and by creating a pop-up what you can effectively do is set a pop-up on a page that basically says in order to access this content you must confirm that you're over 18 years old or whatever it is that you decide to to, to, to set and a user will have to accept this in order for the content um, to then appear now at the same time we are logging IP details so if I just um, reload that page because I've just accepted it my IP, my IP should with a bit of luck appear go to pop-ups IP log details okay there it is sorry I realized why it didn't show the first times because I was logged into the site and um, I had to go and accept it through a non logged in site and then what happens is obviously it logs my IP address and it shows which pop-up was accepted and the date so that that's particularly useful um, for if at a later date you needed to come back to 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 dis to show that the uh, pop-up was actually accepted and therefore somebody did accept the terms uh, of your pop-up the final area of um, compliance bar is the EU cookies and it is a legal requirement that websites uh, in Europe have to display an EU cookie policy to basically tell people that um, a website is using cookies and storing information and here you can again uh, set it up so you want just to say exactly what you want it to say um, give a link to your privacy policy um, and then uh, display it on a page and again somebody must accept that they um, are uh, obliging by your use of cookies um, and that looks a little bit like that so that you can see down at the bottom here the EU cookies by continuing to use this site you confirm the use of cookie to start store data you can find out more by visiting this link and then if you click that it will accept it and it will also um, log the IP in the database so that you can come back to it at a later date um, for record keeping purposes should you want to in the page template settings you can um, simply e edit the existing templates that are already there um, a little bit the same as in the compliance pages um, in the compliance page section and should you want to you can also grab the short codes in order to 
insert any of the templates into any pre-created pages so that's uh, the purpose of the template section um, and then just quick, very quickly we've got a general settings uh, tab which is uh, affiliate option you can just show the um, uh, show, show some text and link to uh, JVZoo and obviously earn affiliate commissions um, on uh, compliance bar um, and just some, quickly some promote and profit and some updates and so on and so forth uh, so that in this in essence is is compliance bar uh, we think it's a great plugin um, we've had some awesome feedback so far um, hope you can see uh, how much time and thought we've put into this particular product uh, compliance is obviously something that's becoming increasingly important and something that we're absolutely confident that your list is going to love and you'll be able to confidently uh, promote it to your subscriber base